What up, though? It's raining like a motherfucker today. Day nine, sobriety. Look at the hook. They looking at me like, this nigga holding the phone? Yeah. I'm holding the phone. Fuck. They pulled me over, I'd be mad as hell. Anyway, day nine. This is my second day nine video. Uh, I'm just not for sure if I'm going to upload the first one or not. Just had a uh, little experience, so I said, fuck it. You know, redo day nine real quick. I don't do no editing, no cut, take. I might do a retake if I fuck up or something like that. But all that, trying to make it perfect and all the rest of that, nah. I'm giving it to you real. Uncut, nigga. Day nine of my detox. Feeling like I ain't never smoked ever in my life. But I am starting to see some physical features on my body that's starting to change. Like I'm slimming down because I'm not eating as much of the bullshit as I was. And I was never a junk food eater. I'm always a healthy eater. At least for the past uh, 24 months. But here recently, I've been on my uh, vegetarian conversion. Now, I don't know about becoming a complete vegetarian. I don't know if I can just cut out meat, period. There's certain proteins and minerals and stuff that you get from certain meats that, you know, your body got to have because my body has been accustomed to intaking that type of stuff for so many years. So I gave up the, the beef and the pork, and I'm just down to turkey and chicken. Seafood, of course. But, uh... It's my first time going to the grocery store over here in the suburbs. I'm like, man, what? I had a buggy and shit. I'm walking around. I see some decent sales. I'm a nigga who shop to sell. Uh, in the first video, I showed you I was at the bakery. I didn't upload that one. Well, I don't know if I'm going to upload it or not. But I went to the bakery. You, know, you get your bread and your snacks and your little juices like that. A little, you know, they got good deals on stuff like that, so... Bakery to get your bread and your little knickknacks. You go to the meat market to get all your meats. You go to the fruit and vegetable markets to get those type of things. Collectively, you come out with a whole lot more and you spend a whole lot less. And I'm in this grocery store. I'm walking around and I'm trying my best to shop to sell. Number one, all of the items that they have are terrible for you. You know, high in sodium, high in this. I'm like, man, I'm taking my ass back over here to the west side. As I came out, I seen a flyer for a grocery store around the corner, and they had some little righteous sales. So I'm going to go over here and see can I handle that. But anyway, this side, I'm spending my sobriety, you know, staying busy, of course. This is one of the things that I've always done. Like I told you, I'm a family guy. I'm a real nigga. So I do all the grocery shopping for the house, you know, and I stockpile shit. I don't just go get enough food for the day. You know, if we want to eat spaghetti, then we already got our uh, turkey, our ground turkey, our, our spaghetti noodles, our sauce, our vegetables. All that shit is already in the house. So it's just a matter of making a decision of what you want to eat. Go downstairs, grab shit out the stockpile, come on back up. You've seen that uh, the TV show on TLC called Extreme Couponing? Well, I'm an extreme shopper. Maybe not extreme, I'm just a, a diligent shopper. Day 9 is 10.55, I did my first video at 10.10, 10, so it hasn't been really that long, but me being in that grocery store, walking up and down them aisles, seeing them high-ass prices, I'm like, man, hell no. Nah. Now, my objective was to spend no more than $600 today. I was going to fuck around and spend 600 bucks just in that one store. They didn't have no turkey bacon, they didn't have no turkey chops, you know, they damn uh, B-52 wings. Anybody know about them B-52s, they good as hell. You like them real hot, you got to fry them. Man, they B-52s with eighteen ninety nine for a five-pound bag. Like, you better suck my dick. Bitch, I ain't paying no motherfucking $20 for no five pounds of no wings, nigga. Got right back in my motherfucking car, nigga. I'm headed to the next store. Left that buggy full of food, everything right in the middle of the aisle. No, that was rude, but they hire people to put that shit back, you know? Because they got motherfuckers like me to come in there and realize that their prices is too high and leave they shit stranded. Anywho, day nine of my sobriety, I'm feeling righteous. I'm eating a lot of power food. A few days ago, I said that I was able to stay up later and wake up earlier with no lag. Today was a different story. I was sleepy as hell. Could have something to do with all this rain. You know, where am I at? I'm Ross and Kelly. Shit crazy. I came all the way from the crib over here to this raggedy ass grocery store and had dip come right back over here somewhere close to the house. You know what I'm saying? Shit, wow. Anywho, I'm feeling righteous, feeling full of energy, refreshed, uh, just got done texting my boy Kenny, he said it's time to eat, 
told that nigga I got the plates. He said he got the forks and knives. We about to, you know what I'm saying, chop it up. My boy Woody, he always down for the paper. Always, 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 always down for the paper. So when it's ready for a nigga to get focused on making some six figures again, you know, I got the right people to reach out to. I just wasn't able to reach out to them people because, shit, I just didn't feel like it. You know, and, that, and that's something that we to make you do. Not more so just we any substance. Make you just say, fuck it. You seen the comedy show. Who was that, Cat Williams who said that? You know, fuck it. That shit is real, nigga. So, uh, what's going on up here? Alright, alright. Yes, I'm driving and recording again. Who gives a fuck? I'm feeling extra, extra good. I'm full of water, full of vegetables. I had a uh, Subway sandwich. This shit say, do not enter. I'm going in this bitch anymore. I had a Subway sandwich the other day, last night to be exact, and uh, got a veggie sub. Now, like I said, I'm on my conversion to becoming vegetarian. This is about the only thing I can eat that's completely vegetarian without having any comments, I any com you know, complaints. I'm fucking up for real. I'm trying to drive, I'm doing too much, stuttering on my words, buggy behind the whip, I can fuck that up. Anyway. On this veggie sub, I had spinach, lettuce, and I'm not a, I'm not a real big fan of they lettuce because it's iceberg. I prefer romaine, but uh, I had spinach, lettuce, tomatoes, cucumbers, onions, uh, olives, black pepper, oregano, parmesan cheese, shredded cheese, and um, light vinegar and oil. This shit was good as hell. The the down the down part to that shit is it had me woke at fucking six thirty this morning. I'm just feeling refreshed. Typically, I would have smoked, ate that exact same sub, woke up at seven thirty eight o'clock, and I just be feeling all right. This morning I woke up like this, like damn, what I got to do today? So I'm out doing the grocery shopping. Like I said, I go to the bakery to get my bread items, the meat market to get my meat items. The grocery store itself to pick up, you know, like your canned goods and you shop your sales on your on your other little knickknacks or whatever. Collectively, I might spend six hundred bucks, but I end up with like a thousand bucks worth of shit. It's all about you know your technique on how you shop. So day nine, I'm here. I'm still sober. Had a friend of mine comment on a video that I posted on Facebook yesterday. I think that might have been day eight I posted. And she said she's going to start her sobriety September 1st. So I'm here to let you know, Miss Higgins or Miss Walker. I'm not sure what your last name is right now. You can do this shit. It's easy as hell. It's a uh, mind over matter. Like I said, it's more mental than uh, physical. Physically, you feel great. Shit, you fucking longer. You, you're running longer. You're breathing better. All type of shit. You know, you run, I'm running around with the kids. I'm not out of breath. And the kids can run. I got twins. I got one running this way, one running this way. What Cat Williams say? What you thinking about running? Shit. My kids thinking about running. Motherfucker, they all through that bitch. The last house we had carpet. This house we got hardwood floors. They loving it. Bouncing balls. You know, they doing flips and sliding and, you know, all the, all the fun you have when you were a kid on hardwood floors for the first time. We experiencing that, so it's a very good thing. And uh, being sober has helped me enjoy that a little bit better. If I was blow, like really, really blow off some indicas, and I'm lazy, I don't feel like doing nothing, I really wouldn't want to run, run around with them like that. You have to excuse my speech. I've been stuttering since three. So they loving it. I'm loving it. They can tell I'm sober. I can tell I'm sober. My mother can tell I'm sober, and I haven't even verbally told her that, but she knows. She know I ain't smoking because I'm used to always smelling like that kush, smoking on that keisha. <laughs> This it, man. Day nine. I'm about to run in this grocery store. Hopefully, they got some better sales. They don't piss me off. I'm still uh, in the suburbs on the east side. Uh, if this shit don't work out, man, I'm going back over here on school crap, dog. Them niggas, they treat a nigga right. So, shout out to y'all for showing me some love. Day nine. Day 15 will be my halfway point. I'm going to try to do something special on that day. I'm going to do this all the way up until day 30. After day 30. I will be officially detox because they say 30 days and you clean some weed. Might take my system a day or two after that because I'm telling you, I used to be fucked up. So after day 30, I'm going to start doing my how-to videos. How to do this, how to do that. Maybe I can inspire somebody to do something other than sitting on that couch. 
You seen the average commercial? You sitting there on the couch with the remote control in your hand? Yeah. Well, instead of getting up going to Everest, you know what I'm saying, chalking up all your time and all your money, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to show you some shit you can do right here at the crib that is fun, everybody can enjoy doing, it can bring profit. That's what I'm about, profit. Just get that paper, you know. I got some other uh, entrepreneur endeavors that I'm getting ready to jump off into, but I refuse to do it without being completely detoxed. I refuse to do it without giving it my 100% my all. So we got to go through all the way day 30, y'all. So just bear with me. We at day 9. We don't have that much longer to go. Like I said, day 15, I'm going to do something a little bit more special. I'm going to do something. I haven't quite figured it out. Then day 30, that's the end of my challenge. I'll be officially detoxed, and then we're going to get to the money. So stick with me. Follow me on Twitter. I am King J, the real King J on uh, Instagram, right here on YouTube, Tramon J. Next video, I'm going to tell y'all what Worldstar said about my video because I submitted my shit. The video, um, I submitted two, actually. Why Women Can't Find a Real Man and uh, Single Mothers Raising Young Boys. This nigga just whipped up all scandalous and shit. I'm out of here, y'all. Fuck with me. 100.